What's up you guys? Hey, I don't really know how to intro. What is up you guys? So this is kind of a last minute filming idea that I had, but I feel like it'll be really useful to people and I like kind of can't decide if I want to get ready today or not. So I'll just get ready and I'll film this video. So by the title of today's video, you probably already know what's going on. I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to apply lashes like a pro. This is like like I say this in a lot of my videos but this is a question that I get a ton of the time um because if you guys see me like out in public I think I say that like I'm like a goblin or something and I just like, hide in my house if you guys see me I'm normally like a big lash queen like I love lashes and just like a good nude lip like oof, oof, does me right so yeah I'm always wearing lashes and every time I see people out or I'm just like talking to people they're like oh my god how do you put on lashes like, I wish I could put on lashes. And especially around this time of the year when there's like prom, graduation, a whole bunch of events coming up. It's like wedding season. Um, everyone is like, I wish I could learn how to apply lashes on myself. And I have faith. I think you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Disclaimer though, I mean, it is going to take a little bit of practice. These are just some tips and tricks to make it a little bit easier. Like, so that you know how to apply it. Because I feel like a lot of people are just like a little lost on the whole like how do I even get it on my eye deal. <laughs> wow, I'm a great teacher. Everything sounds so professional. These are just some tips and tricks on what I do to get my lashes on and make them stay on and make them not look wonky. I've definitely had some times throughout the years where my lashes have looked like really crazy. And because of that, I've learned like what you should do, what you shouldn't do, and I'm gonna fill you guys in on it. I'm also gonna talk about like some different lash styles that you guys might like. Um, cause I feel like that's really important as well. And lashes are just like fun. I know some people always kind of get on my case about always wearing lashes and they're like, Why are you always wearing lashes? But like, I just like them, you know, like I, I feel like it makes my eyes look cuter. I don't know. I feel cuter when I have my lashes on. So like, come for me. I don't really care. It's not that deep. And plus they're kind of fun cause I feel like you can mess around with your eye shape a little bit depending on what type of lash you use. So yeah. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put on some makeup everywhere else <laughs> on my face. Why am I saying everything so weird? I talk so weird when I go to film a video. I'm gonna go and do kind of like the rest of my makeup because I like to do lashes very last um, just because it's the easiest. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. I'm back. Um, I'm not doing anything crazy with my makeup today just because I'm like off running errands. Probably gonna go to the gym. They already know I show up looking crazy though. Um, but yeah, I didn't want anything intense. I just want like a nice natural look so there's another important step of doing well i guess you don't have to do it i just find that it makes doing i love i can't even talk right now you don't have to do it it makes putting eyelashes on like a lot easier so I normally recommend it especially if you're a beginner or if you feel like maybe your lashes have been going on a little wonky or if you feel like you put on lashes and you have a really hard time making them look close to your lash line because you know like when you see people and they have on their lashes and there's like a huge gap in between their real lash and their fake lash and it just kind of looks a little like i know you're wearing fake lashes this is a step that usually helps so i normally recommend doing an eyeliner um you can do a liquid liner if you like doing liquid liner sometimes i'll just do like a big wing and pop on my lashes and call it a day if i'm doing a more natural look i like to do kind of like a smoky liner so it doesn't really look like i have liner on but i still have liner on because every time I do this, people are like, oh, you don't have eyeliner on. I'm like, yeah, I do. So yeah, let me show you how I do that. What I like to do if you're trying to go for a more natural type of look is I like to use a pencil liner. And my favorite is the Smashbox, um, what do they call it? Always on gel liner. And this is in the shade Fishnet. It's just a black shade. And take a little smudger brush like this. This one is from Morphe. It is the Morphe M231. But anything small, um, that'll kind of smudge it's like a little bit dense will work fine sometimes i'll just use like a pencil brush and that works good too all right and then i just like to have a couple of matte um dark shadows on hand so i keep the cap on d shade and light palette on hand and if i'm doing a more intense look i'll use the black one but since today i'm just going a little bit more natural i'll probably use the dark brown but just have a couple of um matte shadows handy that are pretty dark that you can almost use to smudge out the liner so the way that you do this and I'm trying to do it without a table, so everything is a little hectic right now. Is you take the pencil liner, and sorry, I'm gonna try and keep the mirror out of the frame, but I'm so bad about being like this and covering up my face. But the good thing about this is you can be really messy with it, and then when you smudge it out, it looks like you did it on purpose. So you just take the pencil.
and color close to your lash line. And the really important part here, it doesn't have to be even. The important part is that you're getting all the way down to your lash line. Like there's not like a weird gap where like your liner's up here and then your lash line is down here. You wanna take this pencil and really just like go in and make sure that there's not a weird gap. Okay, and I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead in with a dark brown shadow. I'm actually just using the same color that I used on my brows. And I'm gonna go in with that smudger brush. And this part's super easy. You literally just go over the liner. And smudge it. And what I'm really doing is I'm pressing it into my lash line and smudging it again so that we don't have any gap between um, the liner and the lashes. And with this, it definitely doesn't have to be perfect. I just like to make sure that it doesn't have like a harsh line type of feel. It's just a little bit more smoky. Um, and then I just kind of take whatever's left on the brush and I like to put it underneath my eye. especially on like a more natural day so that it kind of looks like I have eyeliner on, but I mean, I don't, like it's not as intense as a liner. Um, and then we just do the same thing to the other side. And now that we have like a little bit of liner on, we are gonna start putting on our lashes. I feel very zoomed in. I don't like this. But there's actually like a lot of different lash styles you can choose. My favorites are usually the Lily Lashes in the Style Miami. They give you, they're pretty dramatic though. Um, they're usually like what you see like Kim and Khloe Kardashian wearing, and they really like give that drama to the eye, but it also just gives the eye a little bit more like a sultry type of look. Um, today I'm gonna be trying out a pair of lashes I've never tried before. It is from the line Kiss, and these are called Garters. Ooh. But they kind of have the same feel as the Miami's, just not as intense, because like I said, I'm not trying to look really crazy today. I just want a little something. I will say if you're a beginner, these are probably gonna be a lot for you. You're probably gonna really like something more like Yardell Demi Wispies because they're not gonna be as intense, but they're gonna give you like just enough. They also have a couple pair of individual lashes that are really pretty. If you want like a kind of in between, like a mink lash and like a demi wispy, I really like the Vegas Nay. They have their bronze beauties. Those are one of my favorites. I used to wear them all the time. But you can really experiment with any kind of shape and see what you prefer on your eye. I mean, I've definitely learned that me and my friends, we have very specific lash shapes that we like and they're all different. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open up our lashes. And then when I'm pulling them out of the package, I like to start from the farther end and pull out just in case this little corner gets goofed up because odds are we're probably gonna be cutting off the corner. Now comes another important part of doing your lashes. You need to measure your lashes. To measure our lashes and we need to cut them down. Um, so when I put on lashes, let me see if I can hold my mirror up and kind of do two at the same time. I kind of like for them to start almost I don't want to say about a third in from my eye, but like maybe like a quarter of the way in from my eye. I don't like for them to go all the way into the inner corner and you really don't want them to go all the way into the inner corner because then they're going to poke your eye and it's going to be super uncomfortable and then you're probably going to get like an eye infection or something. So it's important to make sure that they start kind of like, like here-ish. I kind of do it like where my iris ends almost, if that makes sense. Maybe a little farther in from that. Yeah, probably a little farther in from that. Probably like here. You want it to start kind of like here, like not all the way to the inner corner, but like close. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see how much is on this outer part here. And I just kind of eyeball it. Like I'm like, oh, I see like three little spiky things, maybe three and a half. And I'm going to cut that off. And. I know there's a lot of debate about what side of the lash you should cut from, because some of my friends cut from the inner part of the lash. I've seen some of my friends cut from like this part in. I don't like doing that though. I like cutting from like the outer part in because I feel like if you cut from the inner part in, then you're gonna have like long lashes up close to your eye and it won't look natural. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a small pair of scissors and to cut down. 
lashes. Cool. Just hold it up again, see if it's kind of where you like it to be, which mine kind of looks like how I would like it. So I'm just gonna pull the other one out of the package and do the exact same thing. I'm going to go ahead and apply a coat of mascara to my lashes. And this part definitely doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to give, first of all, we want to make your lashes black so they blend with the fake lashes better, but also we want to give the false lashes something to stick to when we put them on and we kind of pinch them to your real lash and it'll give it a little bit of grip. Next, we are going to go ahead and glue on our lashes. So my favorite glue is the Duo Brush on Adhesive with Vitamins. Oh my God, I almost just dropped everything. Um, I really like this one because it's latex free for one. So if you're using it on clients, you know that you won't have an issue. Two, I feel like it really keeps my lashes on good. Like I can literally take a nap in my lashes and they won't fly off anywhere. Um, and it's clear. You can do black glue. I've seen a lot of people do black glue. The only bad thing about that is if you end up bumping your eye, you'll get like black up on top of your eye and it's glue. So it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, and then a little trick that I like to do is I like to kind of take my lash and I like to kind of like roll it. Can you, can you see that? I don't know. Anyway, I take it in between my two fingers. Well, I'll do it over here. You take it in between my two fingers and just kind of give it a little roll. Especially if your eyes are bigger and rounder, kind of like mine are, it makes it easier to apply. Just take my adhesive and I literally just brush it on the lash band. This part is pretty easy. There's no like, I feel like there's really no wrong way to do this unless you just get it all over the eyelash, but you're just gonna keep it that lash band. I know I've seen some people go in with the glue on their lash line. You can do that if like you really want your lashes to stay on, but then the only bad thing is I feel like you have glue all over your lashes. And if you're wearing them every day, you really wanna make sure that you're not getting glue on your lashes. So the other thing I like with this glue is that it goes on white and when it turns kind of clear or iridescent, that's when it's ready to be put on. That's the part that requires a little bit of practice. So looking in the mirror, you're gonna take your lash and you're going to gently Set it on your lash line. Like that. And then you can either just take your fingers or your tweezers. I have tweezers today to look professional. And I'm going to take the outer corner and match it up to the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm gonna take the inner corner and match it up to the inner corner of my eye. And for me, I always have the hardest time with the inner corner, I think because my eyes are so, sorry, I know I'm like looking up in the mirror, I don't mean to do that. But for me, I have the hardest time with the inner corner, I think because my eyes are so round um, that, that it just wants to keep like popping up. So you kind of just have to work with it a little bit and give the glue time to get tacky. And then what I like to do is just kind of take my tweezers, which is what you guys can probably see me doing now, and I'm literally just going to press the fake lash to the real lash. And kind of like pinch them together. Just be careful that you don't pinch your skin because I've done that plenty of times and it really hurts. And then after I'm done, I just like to take my fingers and kind of pinch it with my fingers too. Because I feel like my fingers are a little bit thicker than um, tweezers, so it really just pinches the whole thing together. And then once I finish applying it, I just kind of take my finger and I kind of push it up a little bit. Because I feel like when your lashes are kind of curled upward, they look a little bit more flirty and a little bit more awake. But yes, yeah, so that is one lash applied. You guys can definitely see the difference. And it's pretty close to my lash line, so it shouldn't look like super fake or anything. But yeah, and then we just go in and you literally do the exact same thing on the other eye. And match it up to the outer corner of your eye. And I like to just kind of look and make sure that it's in the same spot as the other eye. 
And then I just take the inner corner and put that part down. And then just like we did on the other eye, you're literally just gonna kind of press the two together. And obviously you'll get more comfortable around your eyes the more that you do it. Um, I feel like I used to totally freak out. I'm also a contact lens wearer, so I feel like I have a little one up on people. Okay, and then same deal. Once I kind of get it where I want it with the tweezers, I just take my finger and pinch them together. This one's still kind of drying. So I try to let it dry all the way down before I kind of push it up. Sometimes if it's not dry yet and you push it up, it'll like fall off your eye. <laughs> okay, and then that is this eye applied. And then I did bring over some liquid liner. Sometimes if you're a beginner, you'll have a little bit of a gap in this inner corner part because I feel like the inner corner is probably the hardest part to apply. And what I like to do if, it, if you're a beginner is just take a little bit of the liner and kind of like go from the, like connect the latch to the inner part of your eye and it'll make it look more smooth. Or like if you feel like you have a gap in between your lashes, you can always kind of take this and kind of like touch up in between to make it look like there is not a gap. Um, but these actually apply pretty easily and I feel like I don't really see any gaps and I don't really see any areas that need to add black. So I'm not going to add any liquid liner, but that's just a fun little tip that I have, especially for beginning. And then the final step to all of this is that I just like to kind of go back in with my mascara. And I will say if you put a ton of mascara on the fake lash, they're not going to last as long because they're going to get kind of gloopy and gloppy. But if you're really more concerned about them looking good, they look a little bit better if you just kind of go over them like one more time with mascara. I feel like they just blend a little bit better and it kind of helps to push them up too. And when I say they're not gonna last as long, I don't mean like after you've applied them. I mean like after you take them off and you try to rewear them, they might just look a little bit like janky quicker if you're using a ton of mascara. So as you become better, I recommend using less mascara, but in the meantime, use mascara. It makes it blend a lot better. And then I think I'm gonna hit up my bottom lashes. Okay, so my lashes are on and that's kind of it for today's video. I like to do my setting spray before I do my lashes. So if you haven't already done your setting spray, you can do your setting spray now, but I just like to do it before because I feel like it Sometimes if you do it after, your mascara wants to run a little bit and it's kind of annoying. So yeah, I just do it before. Um, but yeah, these lashes are cute. They're not anything super crazy. They're really cute for every day. I'm not mad at them. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys like these tutorial like, style videos, let me know in the comments down below or give this video a thumbs up. That way I know that you like it and I can do more videos kind of like this where I'm talking you guys through certain things with makeup. I just feel like false lashes was a question that I get a lot and I hope that you guys found this video helpful and that you feel like you can put on false lashes a little bit easier. So yeah, wishing you guys all the best luck in the world with putting on lashes. I know it's a struggle and you're probably gonna get really annoyed a bunch of times and you're probably gonna just rip them off and put them back on and rip them off and put them back on because you feel like it's not gonna wanna go on right. But trust me, you'll get used to it, you'll get better. Just practice makes perfect. And I hope that some of the tips I mentioned make it a little easier. So yeah, that's it for today's video and I will catch you guys in the next one.